to show the judge that walked through last week that the look that he got in the jails is not realistic of the situation that's currently happening. Recently, the last past years, we've been short of staff. Uh, we've been working as a skeleton crew for the longest. We're asking the county to come in and take a real look at what's happening in the jails, to come in and talk to a frontline worker, to see what it is that we go through to, just to try to uh, do our everyday jobs. Um, a lot of times we are walking through urine and feces because uh, of the constant flooding. Um, our ceilings are flooding. It's almost like we're walking through um, a rainfall of urine. Um, rats, rat infestation. Elevators and escalators haven't been working for about four years, so we're forced to walk up four flights of stairs um, if we're on a certain section of the jail, and they will not fix it. I would ask them to come through and actually see some of these patients that are in really, really bad conditions and, and see the inhumanity that they have to live through. And about 90% of them are homeless. So you have the combination of mental health, substance abuse, and homelessness. And then that's not counting other being disenfranchised from their families and everything. The patient population is vulnerable and they deserve respect. They need to be treated humanely. You know, we're here to help them, but we're very short-handed. I would want them to be able to understand that offering a, a small bonus is not gonna fix the problems that we have now. It's a very small band-aid. It's not gonna help people stay. It's not being offered to everyone, so it's just gonna make people leave more. What do we want? The truth! Where do we want it? Now! Yeah. What do we want? The truth! Yeah. When do we want it? Now! Yeah. And now we, we just wanna uh, be treated you know, with little respect.